Hi, my name's Abby and welcome to The Horror Mission. Today I'm going to talk about Girl on the Third Floor. So I posted a video already explaining the format of these videos. Basically I'm not going to give away any spoilers in the first bit um, and I will tell you when the spoiler zone begins. I'm going to start off by giving the film an overall score and then ranking it out of 10 on 12. Factors. So for Girl on the Third Floor I gave it a 5 out of 10. Blank expressions, no spoilers. 5 out of 10. For Scary, 5 out of 10. For Cringy, 5 out of 10. Believability, 5 out of 10. Stress Level, 5 out of 10. Gory, 7 out of 10. Satisfaction, so how satisfied I felt after the film, not like how satisfied I was with the film as a piece of art. For that, 4 out of 10. Acting, seven. Soundtrack, six. Remember, the best, and I'm definitely gonna say this again in other videos, the best soundtracks are when you get to the end of the film and you don't even remember the soundtrack. There are some exceptions, like Psycho, but that's a general rule. Cinematography, five out of 10. Casting, seven. Yeah, seven. Jump scare factor, three. Tension factor, so how tense the film was, about four. Now I'm going to give you some heads up. They're kind of spoilers, because you'll know what's coming, but they're not like, you know, detailed descriptions of what happens. Sexy scenes. Sexy scenes. So if you're thinking about watching this film with your parents, don't. I'm going to do this in all the videos. I'm going to say where the fear mostly comes from and what the main source of fear is. Hear me out. So the fear mostly comes from the narrative. But the main source of fear is hauntings. I'm basically just doing that so you know what you're getting yourself into. Extra warnings, a dog dies. This is when we get to the spoilers, so turn off if you have not seen the film or you don't want spoilers. The best bit for me, the marble and the eye thing. The worst bit for me was probably the zombie ghosty girl with teeth in her actual head. Weird idea. I'd, I'd like to have been there when they drew the sketch for that. The badass award in this film goes to, in my opinion, Milo for telling his best mate that he shouldn't be fucking around behind his wife's back. Nice one, Milo. Shame you died. The bit where the film went too far for me was the show scene. Weird sort of spanky with a twig thing. I, I don't. I don't know. That didn't do anything for me, it didn't add anything to the film, it just confused the wife. It didn't scare me. Any other business? This film was okay for a horror film. Um, I was expecting more than was actually delivered. It felt more like a slow burning sort of thriller. Um, but if you're into that, then actually it's, it's kind of good. It's kind of good. Just because I've decided to do this and I think it's cool, if you want to watch the film again as a short film, then watch it between 48.18 and 1 hour 5 minutes and 47 seconds. Watch it back, it'll make sense as a short film. So those are my thoughts on Girl on the Third Floor. Do I think you should watch it? I think you should watch it. I think you should watch it anyway. Um, I only gave it a 5 out of 10, but that's my personal opinion. Yours might be completely different and you might be into like a slow burning horror thriller kind of thing. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. And thanks for watching.